is up everybody ben gothard here founder and ceo of gothard enterprises author of ceo at 20 little book for big dreams and i'm here with the main man chris yo what's going on people so it is super bright outside it's so squinting. hot squinting it is also quite hot so we're going to do a quick video for y'all today we're going to talk about building passive income through amazon fba now just for a little overview amazon fba is getting products to sell on amazon and putting those products on or sending those products to Amazon to where they can fulfill it. FBA yeah. fulfillment by Amazon. So, yeah. Chris, maybe you could give a little bit of an overview since you are the successful Amazon FBA seller and take us through the steps from zero to 100. Real quick. Real, real quick, quick. Real quick. So, with Amazon FBA, you've got a couple of options. Um, I'm going to talk more about my experience and my expertise. So. Um, I went down the, the route of private labeling products, which meant I set up a limited company in the UK, an actual legal business. Um, some people can set up as an individual on the Amazon FBA seller accounts, which means they're restricted to a certain amount of items they can sell per month, but then they don't have to legally go and set up a business. So it's very straightforward, very Let's simple. Some Let's get some shade. Very quick. You're just going to get some shade. People, it's too hot up in here. And. Um, so I went down the private label route of Amazon FBA, which was my own product. So how that would look is I would research products, that's nice. I would research products on Amazon and I would leverage the likes of like Google Keyword Planner, Google Trends, Amazon.com, AliExpress, Alibaba, which is a supply website, distribution website where you can find private label products or you can find other brand products to sell them on Amazon. So I went down the, the line of supplements. So I actually found a supplier in the UK which could private label a supplement, which is L-carnitine. Yeah, I'm putting the product out that I sell. That product has made me over £89,000 in the last 20 months. L-carnitine, go and do your worst. And what, if, what have your total earnings been in the last 20 months? Uh, so in the last, coming up 21 months, it's been more than two, 328,000 UK pounds in revenue, which is gross revenue. Which is about $421,000 Not bad. revenue. Not bad. From this man right here on Amazon FBA. But I will say that I have made more mistakes in this last 21 months than I would have liked, but I am now in a position where I feel in more control than ever, right. even though there's, you know, there's still some minor and major mistakes mm -hmm. that can be made. But like I wrote a blog post this morning, go check it out on zonlifesuccess.com. I, like I like to document every single day what I do with Amazon, my, right. my, my successes, my failures. We were talking about this this morning, what happened with my labels. So mm -hmm. um, just because you see all the glitz and glamour, like 60, 100 sales, whatever it might be per day, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in the back end that you know, can help you to shed, not can help you, can make you shed some tears and put a frown on your face. Um, but, but the caveat is, the question is, is it worth it? Is yes. it worth it for you? Because if you want to build a business, if you want to build passive income, if you want to be able to, like Chris, book a one-way ticket to the United States to come out and hang out with your homeboy, <laughs> then is that worth it? Yeah, is absolutely. putting in that work worth Yeah, it? it's worth it. And I recommend for anybody who wants to go into this business or any other business that you have to, you know, even if you're not a risk taker right now in this moment, then you have to, you have to adopt that risk taking mentality because I have a lot of people messaging me per day, per week, per month saying, Chris, is it, is there much capital involved in starting up selling on Amazon? And yes, of course there is. Is there much risk? Yes. Massive amount of risk. Um, you know, if, if you're willing to take control of all that and push past the risk and really see the success is on the other side of that risk, then you're gonna do great. You also have to track how many sales you wanna do. For me personally, with my first supplement, I wanted to hit 12 sales per day before I moved on to my second product, which was a green tea extract, so green tea extract in, in capsules. I wanted to hit that for four to six weeks, even more, I believe, until I released that second product. Um, and that to me was a personal goal, which was very achievable. It was not overwhelming in the slightest, and I knew I could achieve it if I put my mind to it. And that, that, that mentality really helped me. Plus, I didn't use my own money. I actually used an investor's money, which was around $2,900 US, two and a half thousand pound UK to start up. So my, my, you know, my whole attitude and mindset in terms of the risk taking was very, very much minimized because it wasn't my money. Um, so, you know, I went all guns blazing and then 21 months later, um, you know, I'm known as this 
funny Amazon guy, so it was quite it was quite surreal. Actually. So so let's talk about something Ow. that I think <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about something that I think could be very useful, and I think we might not actually agree on it, which I think mm -hmm. will actually be a good thing to to discuss. So I'm of the opinion that one of the most important things to do as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, is to build an audience. You have to build a community, build an audience of people that you that you know, that you provide value to, that you can trust, and that you can eventually sell to when you have established that community. How's it going, man? And so, Chris, on Amazon, they have the community built for you. Yeah, it's right? thick. It's, 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 it's their it community. It's their community. So, what would you say to the idea of building a community first mm -hmm. and then asking that community what sort of products they want from you and then private labeling those products to, to serve your community? What I, do you think about that? I think, I think that, that has definitely its upsides and positives. Of course it does. Mm -hmm. you know, that's something that Amazon can't take away from you because it's right. yours and you're talking in the terms of Facebook audience, social media audience, or and email list, email or, list. You know, so whatever it may be. <clears throat> that's something that's been not much of a concentration focus on my end. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if I knew more about it at the time and I was less busy with my Amazon business in the first six months, I definitely would have looked into that further. Yeah. Um, and when I coach clients now and in my courses, that is something that I really do recommend because I've missed out on all of those emails over the last 20 months right. because I've sold to over 27,000 customers on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So if that, that if that was my own shop, I'm not saying I wished it was because Amazon has served, served me very well over the last 21 months. Right. Um, <clears throat> I would now have 27,000 plus emails or 27,000 followers on Facebook for everyone that's uh, bought my products, both coffee and supplements. So. Mm -hmm. By building a list early on, external to Amazon or external to any other platform that captures your audience as yeah. theirs, I think that that's a greatly beneficial factor which you can bring into your own. So, yeah, definitely, but, definitely focus. But it goes back to which one you really want to focus on, right? Yeah. If, if you're interested in building a community and really connecting with people and building relationships, then... Go with the go with the audience building first, and then yeah. again listen to their needs and wants. <clears throat> figure out exactly what sort of products that they need, and then give them those products and services that that. And then again, you can offer. I will interrupt. Yeah, yeah, and go I will for say, it. Because this is the beauty of selling on Amazon. Exactly the opposite to what Ben said. To mm -hmm. build an audience, you don't have to. Yeah. So with with Amazon, you can. You can pick a product today mm -hmm. and you can have it live in four, six, 12 weeks, you know, how much right. focus you want to put into it. So by build, building an email list now and spending three months doing so or six months or whatever, that's mm -hmm. great. You can build that audience or you can start on Amazon like this week, sell by next month and then in the meantime with your spare time, build that audience on the side. Right. Now what Ben's saying is, you know, if we capture an audience now, we'd know exactly what products they want us to release. But with a risk with Amazon, you know, that's slight risk, but you can still do product research. There's no guarantees you're gonna pick a perfect product because there is no perfect product. Right. <clears throat> We're pretty much gonna sell on Amazon instantly and have potential to make sales from day one, as opposed to wait six months, build a list, build information, capture emails, capture an audience, all of that stuff, and then sell. So right. there's a bit of both you can do here. Um, but if you're like me, very impatient, and like Ben, as you know, you know, we want stuff now. We want stuff today, this minute. So if that is you, I'd recommend jumping on Amazon. But if you have got that extra patience and, you know, more capital to sustain the duration of six months of audience mm -hmm. building, then that's definitely a way that I would go if I personally had that mentality. Set on, set on back. So, you know, there really is no right or wrong answer when it comes to this, you know, option of building your audience first or going on. Amazon and utilizing yeah. their audience. Because that's why a lot of people are setting up on Shopify now. Right, because you can capture, you can capture all that. So, you know, I think at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it just comes down to your preference. Yeah. Agreed. You know, do you want to build relationships with people and be more people focused? In which case, it's not as much about the product, it's more about the people, yeah. focusing on the people in your community and giving them whatever they want. Or, or do you want to focus more on just getting products out there, doing product research, 
it's not as important to you to, to retain that relationship. Yeah. You just want to become a bigger seller on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the question that you may want to think about. Yeah. Again, you could try doing both at the same time. You could try building up your audience on one side and then selling on Amazon on the other. You could start with your audience or you could just start on Amazon. Yeah. There's, there's no right or wrong answer. But what I think is important is that we think about these things mm -hmm. and that options, options yeah, and, and that you know you that you have options. Because I've I've sold again twenty one months, near two years on Amazon, mm -hmm. and I haven't had a website. I haven't had a website for my sports nutrition company. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a website for my um, coffee company. But I ha I did build eight months into my supplement business, and then a further six months into my coffee business mm -hmm. is the only times where I actually tried to build a, a very small audience on Facebook. And p personal experience, mm -hmm. and maybe this comes down to lack of experience the way Facebook ads and sponsored ads work on Facebook. Yeah. I didn't see many sales take off from social media, mm -hmm. but because it's a long term, yeah. yeah, it is definitely. But because I focus so much of my interest, passion, and knowledge onto the Amazon FBA platform, that's where the results came, and that's what you know the 80 20 principle comes into it. So, absolutely. So, building passive income is absolutely possible. We just gave you basically three ways to do it. You can build your audience first. You can go on Amazon FBA first. You can do them all at the same time. Anything can work. It depends on what you want. Yeah. Okay? So and Enjoy it, people. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy it. it. There, there is no good reason not to start owning your own business and building passive income mm -hmm. because once you do, you will become financially free, and then you can start living the life of your dreams. So this has been a quick video with Chris and myself, let's build a better world together.